You're a second guest here, but you're our first official guest where we're all set up. So it's okay, an honor cool. to have you here, Collie. Hey, thank you. Yeah, yeah for yes, real, sir, man. Yes, thank sir. you for coming to the studio. Hey, hey, thank you for having me. Yeah, the Green Solution and Larry Uncensored welcome you to Denver. Thank you. And we're honored to have you for, for the hey, holiday. Thanks, yes, that sir. is 420. 420. I had a, I had a question like. Where you're from is 420 even a thing there? Is it well, even acknowledged? It's, it's more on the time, like every right. you know. What I mean, it's not like April. Okay, 20th. But they do acknowledge the 420 during the day. Uh, yeah, it's it's there. It's there. But it's, it's not, not as like prevalent it's, as it is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we made it a thing. No, but you you, 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 you you were born in New Orleans, right? Is that kind of where you got the music vibe and everything? I'm not or, sure. I was only there for eight months when I oh, popped okay. out. But um, <laughs> yeah, and then I. Uh, Back in Bermuda when I was uh, four, so I've been living there ever since. Ever since, yeah. and you just have always been into music. Has it always been a part of your life? Yeah, yeah. I mean, from from when I was little, I remember um, my mom made me a like a mixtape um, tape. This is back in tape days, um, <laughs> you know, analog tape um, of the Beatles, and like it was a bunch of it was a mix of things like Buddy Holly and and um, Creedence Clearwater, and I just remember I was just. Just me by myself in a room, and I'll just be pressing rewind, like, and just playing the tape, like, back to front. Being that, a DJ on the old school. Yeah, yeah, and I couldn't have been more than, um, well, I was definitely less than, uh, probably around four years old, be right before I moved back to Bermuda. And uh, I just remember that, like, vividly, like, and, and then my mom was... Uh, Working out down in the basement in the fucking spandex, you know the the the, um, <laughs> the Suzanne the Rose here with the yeah. right, right, for sure. like, yeah, the bright Sweating. pink like yeah, right, yeah. she exactly. was listening to like uh, he's a man eater, man -eater. <laughs> oh she's you know what I mean whatever like and all the eighties music but yeah I just I was always into music man. Your yeah. brother is a DJ, right? He is, yeah. And so he yeah. kind of he had a hand in getting you started too a little Definitely. bit. Definitely, I mean we 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 had um it was like the basement of our house in Bermuda. A lot of good times there. That's back in the day. But he, yeah, we, you know, we had turntables and and he was always the one to show me like the foundation of like reggae music, like because he was a real music head and he'd buy all all the records and and everything. I just remember sitting off with him and you know he, he's three years older than me, so I was like the young and like I was just like the little guy that came in like yo yo look leave man what are you doing down here man get you know <laughs> get uh get out of here but um. I just remember, yeah, he he definitely influenced me. Um, well, on your first to track, the music, come around yeah. like the I mean, that wasn't your first track, but the one you the, that got you on the scene. Yeah. you worked on it with him, right? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were out in Canada at the time, and um, I was actually living with him in his apartment while he was going to school. He was doing um the audio engineering side of things. Um, I forget what the school name was. Um, IADT, um, International Academy of Design and Technology, and they had a recording arts program and. And he was doing that, and I was living with him at the time, and yeah, we just, um, and then I got signed to Sony. With there's a little, you know, story in between that, but um, got signed to Sony, and they gave me the the beat, and we were both in the studio, and within 30 minutes, we both came up with the track, so we both wrote it together and everything. That's so sick. Yeah. And that was the start as we kind of it all, right? Yeah, yeah, that was it. Well, it also helped that heard, that Busta stole your sample. Did, did he? Nah, did, I, I don't know. Did nah, Buster that was a proper remix. That oh, was okay. A proper remix. Yeah, oh, yeah. They, I thought it was unofficial. When I, nah, because oh, I was going to say like I, I met Buster one time and like I brought him like an <laughs> ounce of herb and then he just grabbed the herb and like walked away and I was like, oh shit. I was like, well, so yo, he stole like, your sauce for, for sure. So I thought when I read that, I thought <laughs> yeah. I read something about him lifting your track. I was like, dude, we got screwed by Buster. I understand how you could feel yeah, that exactly. way, yeah, yeah, but it's all good. No, 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 it's all good. People's one love. Yeah, yeah, we were just out in Belgium. We did the show together and uh you know he pulled me out on stage to do that song and all oh, that nice yeah yeah but um yeah no it was official it was official oh, good, good. it was official um the only thing that wasn't um planned was he was like yo we gotta make a video and we were like yeah let's do a video for the for the track you know what I mean that'd be dope like as an official video you know me Buster and I think there was somebody else on the track too as well and then the money talk started happening, and then we were like, mm, you know what? We'll just let we'll just let the song ride. But um, but yeah, right. nah, Bus is good people, so yeah, yeah for good sure. Peoples. Yeah. Who who else do you like that's out right now that may not even be like reggae or whatever? But like, is there any artists at, that are out right now that are like? Well, I'll tell you, I I'll tell you what. I own a radio station in Bermuda, right? Uh, called Vibe One Hundred Three. Download the app at Vibe One Hundred Three. You know. Uh, vibe103.com For sure 
Um, we play top 40 of every genre. Oh, cool. So I'm immersed and I'm going to listen to it every day. You know what I mean? Oh, nice. yeah. uh, but we mix in, obviously, the top 40 of Caribbean music too as well. So dance hall. Um, oh, you cool. know. Wait, so you're programming a radio station while yeah. you're doing all this other stuff? Well, I, I just kind of like, I'm the overseer. I have other people doing the okay. whole, you know, Execute. the groundwork. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Okay. Like if I hear a song that's been repeating too much and it's kind of like off the charts now, I'm like, yo, hey, get rid of that one. You know what I mean? So I'm like, and then, and then when I say that, he's like, yo, it's already done. Like, what are you, what are you telling me? But, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm behind, but, um, yeah, but, um, do you try to break artists? Do you, do you feel like that at being in that position to, to hear yeah, an we artist? Do. Like we, we kind of have a good ear too as well. So if we think something's going to pop off, we'll, we'll, we'll play it a lot more than it is like more than other commercial stations would, mm. um, just because we know it's going to make it. You know, right, you have the edge. Yeah. You, you're in the business. Exactly. That's you know dope. I mean? and, and plus, we want to introduce like Bermuda. For the longest time, the radio's been shit. You know what I mean? All it's right. Been, it's been like dinosaurs running, running, running the stations, and so we're the up and coming station that's that's playing all the current hits of, you know, every genre. So we try and keep it as fresh as possible. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I, I mean? my my whole career has been in radio here in Denver. And, uh, you know, we play hip-hop, or we play Top 42, so we're pumping yeah. Bieber out and Selena Gomez. Yep. We got to yep. play with... All that stuff, yeah. yeah. Yep. But course. it's a great... It's, yeah, you know, love- like, a lot of people, like, you know, there's a... Uh, p- people have different opinions, different, you know, genres and uh, formats and media. It's like, uh, you know, but radio is a proven winner. It's like, we book so many huge clients constantly through the station that yeah. you know if anybody kind of questions if radio is still alive it's like yeah it's alive and kicking cool, and yeah. uh you know there's a lot of competition out there people can get music anywhere but it's kind of like your personalities on the air like and you know giving them that local vibe that local thing it's like people can listen to their xm or whatever but we talk about shit that's yeah. going down here you well know? That, that's yeah, why i like definitely. the podcast too because it gives you that freedom kind of away from that area to where you can ha- experience well, yeah. have all the goodies on the table exactly buds you know what i mean yeah, so yeah uh, you're performing oh, yeah. after red rocks you're going to yeah. dubai is that right yeah dubai yeah oh abu dhabi abu dhabi Same. I mean, have, have, uh, have you been somewhere. there before and performed yeah, we is, did it uh, back in yeah 2012. I think I was last there. Yeah, but we've definitely done over there. What's yeah. it like to perform there? Because the architecture in that whole spot's supposed to be just unreal. Yeah, I mean it's crazy. It's different, but once you get in the venue and you see all the expats and everybody's kind of like performing anywhere in the states, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, right. But yeah, but it, it's definitely. Um, I stayed with my boy for one night who lived kind of outside of the city of Dubai and like, you know, at 5 a.m. they, they had on the loudspeakers, like, I won't mock what they were playing. No, no, but right, you know instead of the like, call yeah, of yeah, church or whatever, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know right, and, so but if you're not used to it, sunrise. you wake up and you're like, oh. Yeah, I was like, I was like, hold on, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> What's this like? And it's like, yeah, yeah, just relax, it's chill. Just take it in, take it in. Yeah, yeah. See, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, like, no, no, you know no, I mean? like, no, no, I did. That was the Lion King. That was the Lion King. That was me. That was I was doing for the Lion King. So, what are you no, working no. on now? What, what, what do you got? Oh man, I'm very excited about this new project. Um, I just spent uh, a couple weeks down in Miami recording out of um, Chris Cab Studio, um, okay. t- Studio 26 in Miami, and um, yeah, a lot of good stuff. A lot of uh, production from Super Dopes, who we've worked with for ever. From the first album, um, Tomorrow's Another Day, Sense of Mean, um, Mary Jane, like a bunch of songs. So I'm excited about it, though. Yeah. It's, it's some dope stuff. And I haven't put out an album, like an actual album, since 2007. So it's been Long nine years. years. And yeah, you get yeah. a lot I mean, of your fan- EPs and stuff, yeah. but you know, it's not the same. Like we've kind of done that just, uh, you know, to keep things moving. Right, but, right, like, for sure. This is actually the first time I've been able to like relax. Be in a studio environment and and do what I want to do. And your you know, music's probably of, evolved to such a point over the last since it's been ten years. Yeah, to, was, to really create an album that sets you apart from the last album. Yeah, exactly. And the music's changed so much, but it's definitely on par with the first album. Like as far as like we got um, all sorts of things mixed in with each other. Like you know a little bit of dancehall, a little bit of um, you know the conscious side of things. Um, a little bit of um, Soka even, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the whole Caribbean mesh from the first album that we had. And um, yeah, I'm excited about it, man. Well, I can't you, wait Speaking of socially conscious, you, a lot of your songs definitely empower weed and, and, the, and the pros of, of marijuana. Like, 
how do you feel like when coming to Colorado and seeing what's evolved to and then do you feel like your music crazy. is like, yeah, like kind of helping with you, that you want to like, buy a like, house here don't you? we'd have to be there would be no windows in this room like 10 years ago we'd be like stashed <laughs> off in like a basement somewhere like we like you know what i mean um it's yeah uh you know growing up in bermuda we had i mean it was a big not a big part but like it was definitely a part of growing up there like i mean weed was you know, um, as a youth there, you know, you I mean you, you eventually try weed. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and um, so and, and and definitely listen to reggae music like throughout. You know, growing up, um, kind of help. You know, see see the the positive side of it. Whereas we were going to school and they had this big. Uh, poster on the wall like of the negative effects of marijuana don't do like drugs like, you know those things yeah, where, right, where right. you got the full body and they got these red lines going out and like it causes this causes this mm-hmm. causes this and all that and now look at it yeah, it yeah it was all like you know and just say no to drugs and all that type of thing and whereas you know they call it the gateway drug and no beer is your you first know. gateway yeah, yeah, exactly it really is. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And then comes the rum. <laughs> right, uh, exactly. And then all bets are off. You know what I mean? Yeah, you right. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, we really but appreciate you, having you coming out and just thanks, being part man. of the Larry Uncensored podcast in the yeah. Green Solution Studio. No better time than uh, 420. 420. Every yeah. year, man. Every year we're trying to get audio.